Hello everyone, I'm in uh, Darien, Wisconsin. I just thought I'd take you for a walk through Darien, Wisconsin. It's a very small town, about probably about 10 miles or less from my house. Um, this is where the town begins. Got a grain elevator just outside on the edge of town and uh, actually it's right in town almost. Um, Darien is a very uh, farm community. There's a lot of farming in this area and it's not, not very unlikely to see a tractor drive right down the street down right through Main Street here in Darien, Wisconsin. Uh, Darien, Wisconsin is very well known for its um, corn festival that they have once a year. It's in September uh, and they have their big parade go right through town here. I'm gonna cross the street here. This is the whole town right here. This is where they have their parade come through. They have another spot um, out of town a little bit where they have the big celebrations and stuff and they have craft fairs and stuff. Um, I'm gonna go over here. There's some train cars over here by the grain elevator. Show you what they use for hauling the corn and stuff out of here. Corn and soybeans and wheat. They're not moving right now, they're just sitting there. But you can get kind of a look at them. They kind of look kind of old. See if I can zoom in on them a little bit here. And you can see they got chutes on the bottom of them. That's how they empty them. They fill them from the top and empty them out the bottom. Anyways, I'm going to turn around here and uh, go down one side of the main street and then back down the other side. It's uh, very windy out here today. I hope the wind noise ain't too bad. I don't know exactly what the population of Darien is. I'm guessing it's somewhere between two to three thousand. Very small town. I like the architecture of the old buildings. I remember coming here when I was a kid. Can't remember which building it was. I think it was I think it was that white one with the awning sticking out on it right there. I think that was the building. I used to come here and get my hair cut with the dad my dad every few months or every month or so get my hair cut funny story there is uh when i was very little i don't know probably five six years old got home from after my haircut and looked in the mirror and the barber shaved my eyebrows off shaved everything right off i looked ridiculous and i don't know why i did that me and my dad we laughed like crazy the uh, they used to have their own police department here, but a few years ago they uh, ended the police department. I think it cost the city too much money, and they ended up uh, hiring the city of Delavan to do their police, to be their police department. They come over here and do the police policing. There's not a whole lot in this town, there's, but there's actually two bars in this town. Right on Main Street I'm talking about, outside of town I think there's another one. There is a store here I've never noticed before, it's called the Art Gallery, I have to check that out sometime. This bar is kind of interesting. It used to be a bank. Now it's a bar. Now they call it the beer bank.
Hello. Right over there is their post office. Very, very, very small. And the veterinary service. Here we got the local restaurant. Hello. Or actually, this is a resale shop. One of my cousins and his wife has a retail shop here. That might be it. I'm not sure. I haven't checked that out yet. This is the restaurant here. Down at the corner here, there's a um, ice cream shop, but it's actually closed right now for the winter. They only open up during the summertime. And then down there, there's another restaurant, and then over here we got a park. Uh, I'm going to cross the street here and get on the other side. Oh. <clears throat> uh, basically, that's pretty much the, the whole town here. I'll just go down the other side of the town here. It's a nice town. Just, uh, there's no big stores here in this town, uh, no really big grocery store or anything. There's a gas station out of town that has a few little groceries and stuff, but they have to pretty much go to Janesville or Delavan to get their groceries. There's also a local welder in town, uh, which was down from that grain elevator down the side street, way down the far end. Uh, so you can tell it's a farm community. The farmers bring all their stuff here when they need to get something welded. Um, if he can't weld it, I'll tell you what, there's probably nobody else that can weld it because he's a good welder. I've seen him weld some pretty good stuff. And it holds together, it don't break. <clears throat> been there for, been welding for years, that guy. Some of the places are, look like they're closed up, like there's nothing in them. <clears throat> there's a hair salon. This is another bar here, the Farmer's Inn. When that uh, parade is going on here, the Corn Fest, that Farmer's Inn place is packed.
place for it looks like private parties it looks like heating and cooling place here Maybe the heating and cooling is an old sign. This looks look like another resale shop. And we got an upholstery shop here. And that's pretty much the whole town of Darien. Well, I hope you like going for a walk through the town. I like going through different towns and looking at the old buildings and stuff. It's kind of interesting. Uh, this is a very small one, but it's an old one. Um, probably hasn't changed a whole lot over the years. Uh, I remember it looked pretty much the same since I've been a little kid. Uh, but there's been some changes, a little bit of changes, but not much. So anyways, I uh, just want to take you for a walk. It was a nice day uh, here in Wisconsin. It's 50 degrees Fahrenheit today. Uh, the weather's supposed to change this weekend. I think we're going to get some snow again. Uh, but anyways, it was a beautiful day, so I thought I'd go for a little walk and uh, take you along with me. So I hope you enjoyed the little walk. So catch you all later. Have a great day, and see you on the next Wisconsin Greg Show. Bye now.